Hello, folks. We're back again, and at, I, I'm afraid I'm off the wagon. Oh, Sean, Sean, Sean. Uh, so, this is Warhammer 40K. And in mm. fact, well, this is sort of 30K. This is this is before, so there's no aliens or anything in that. It's just humans shooting at each other and destroying each other. But it's in an it's in an epic scale, so it's very teeny tiny. So I'm I'm very unversed with Warhammer. It says the 40K is that is that what year they're in? Forty thousand is that like? Yeah, it's like forty thousand years in the future. So it starts okay. off with fantasy. So they Warhammer had a whole fantasy line with all the the dwarves and the elves and stuff, and then it projects into forty thousand years in the future. I mm -hmm. think that's I think that's correct. Okay. And uh, and that's and. And that's usually where uh, Warhammer 40K takes place. This is a little bit sooner. Mm -hmm. There was this big uprising where uh, where the these factions of space marines, this one of the primarchs, Horus, uh, mm -hmm. betrayed the emperor and decided that uh, they were going to see themselves as god. That emperor himself was sort of uh, was very much a Okay, this has gotten too deep because this is a. If you want to be, if you want to be a spaceman and shoot other spacemen, yeah. this the, you might enjoy Warhammer. So yeah. I got into Warhammer uh, for two reasons. One, I, I love, I love uh, grim, dark futures yeah. and thinking about the. Uh, I love a bleak outlook on life uh, <laughs> in general, and uh, sometimes I like to spend a lot of money on models, yeah. and they give you every opportunity to do that. Yeah, uh, these are they probably do. some of the most expensive uh, models out there. This and this is a this is a nice sexy box that came out about two months ago. Yeah. This is a specialist thing. It's not the kind of thing that a lot of people are going to want. Uh, it's a, this is for a small subsection of Warhammer fans. Mm -hmm. It just so happens, and it, it comes with some stuff. And we'll go ahead and flip it over and let you see what what all it comes with. Not very much, actually. Uh, uh, game Games Workshop still makes this. Yes, this yeah, okay. Games uh, Games Workshop does all the Warhammer stuff. Right. Uh, but this this was my first game, my first Warhammer game, the first game where I ever painted a miniature or did anything mm -hmm. with this. Like the what I can say is the only other game I played besides like the Risk and Shogun and all the stuff we had back in the eighties and nineties mm -hmm. uh, was Warhammer Epic Forty K. Yeah. So that's an old version of this. It's a different scale. In fact, I'm going to build some of these models up, and I'm going to put them next to what little epic stuff I have left. I used to have an enormous collection of those things, mm -hmm. like with all the Warhammer stuff. And uh, I kept one army. I kept the Imperial Fists, yeah. the little Ronald McDonald army. I, I kept mm -hmm. them. So you'll see some comparisons of the Space Marine vehicles that are in here and the Space Marine vehicles that are in there. Mm -hmm. uh, these things are... Uh, bigger in scale than the other ones and they have knights uh, and they have titans and stuff in here this one comes with two titans I actually have the other set too all painted uh, the Adeptus Titanicus and it comes with uh, it, it's a set similar to this but it's more focused on the on the titan part of the whole thing mm -hmm. okay okay so it's been about a week since I did the unboxing and I've pulled out some classics here to compare to the new version. Uh, I've got the new version of all the tanks assembled and primed, and there'll be a painting, see, a prime, <laughs> and there'll be a painting video on that really soon. But let's take a look in the Wayback Machine here. So uh, I have my old Imperial Fists, and uh, this right here is from the original Space Marine. I think this is from the very first version of Epic 40K. It was revitalized later on in the 90s. And this is a uh, this is metal. Both of these are pewter. And uh, so this is a metal version, but you can see like uh, much more realistic, much better details and stuff. And then as we move on, we've got this. Now this is again another level of detail. Uh, these guns are swappable. These little turrets are sw you can swap out and they give you options for that, which is really nice. A uh, lot more detail on the side sponsons. Uh, again, th these were pretty nice, but uh, these look really, really good. And uh, they, they're supposed to be from a different era. The yellow one's actually 10,000 years in the future from, from this one. So I can see maybe there would be a little some minor differences and stuff. 
Uh, and this is not a perfect match either. This is a Land Raider from the, uh, from the 90s reprint. Actually, you know, this might be, yes, it is. It's from the 90s reprint. And, uh, and here's another tank that I'm actually not familiar with, but another Space Marine tank that looks like it was sort of inspired by this chassis a little bit. So not a perfect size comparison there. Uh, this is kind of interesting too. So here we have the Warhound Titan from this, and I believe this is one of the, this is the older, uh, this is the older original Epic Space Marine or Titan Legions. And uh, here's the, the new version of that, of course, with this magnetic uh, weapons and stuff like that versus this uh, little metal thing that's all rigid and with no options. <laughs> Over here, we have uh, the Land Raider. So this is the Land Raider from the kit. Uh, very cool, very nicely detailed little kit. And here is a Warhammer 40K version of the same Land Raider, pretty much. And as you can see, uh, the details on there really carried over very well to the smaller version of it. So I'm excited to paint these up and see what they look like. So uh, this has tanks and infantry which was missing from uh, Adeptus Titanicus. And uh, it's got a rule book and some templates and stuff, but let's look at it for real and see what comes in this box. Open that box. Now, uh, this comes with these. These are little 18 inch long measuring sticks. Chopsticks. <laughs> and these are, uh, they, co they come apart. So you take them off of these things. I don't know if you could use this as like a one inch one or something. Anyway, <laughs> so this comes off. I'll do that later. So I've got nothing else to do. You can use these. Uh, <laughs> you can use these to measure with, and these are right out of. These are very old school. Mm -hmm. So these were in all those old games that I used to get, and um, right here, uh, same with these. These are blast templates. So you get your big blast, your small blast, and your like kind of flamer, big giant flamethrower. Now, imagine that on this scale, though. <laughs> that is, that'd be like a, a flame ball, like yeah. the size of a power plant or something <laughs> coming oh, yeah. through there, you know. So, uh, again, the, a different color than what I remember. I, I think the ones I have were gray, like for Warhammer 40K and stuff, but mm -hmm. the exact same templates. It's kind of fun seeing those again. Mm -hmm. We've got the sprues and sprues of tanks. So, hmm, let me see how close I can get. So we've got all these sprues. These sprues are going to have a couple of different options. Uh, this sprue has, uh, it looks like three tanks on this one. Is it the Space Marine one? Yeah. So these are uh, little Space Marine tanks. Uh, I can tell because that's got kind of a Rhino chassis there. Uh, and they'll have options for little different weapons and stuff to build onto the on this. I think there's... Um, I don't know if this has a ton of options or not. I do recall someone talking about magnetizing these so that mm -hmm. you could change them out, kind of like I do with the with the Titans mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. We got another sprue here. Looks like a, another set of tanks. There's uh, uh, looks like four more tanks here. I'm seeing these on eBay and stuff, and people mm -hmm. are like cutting these sprues in half and selling these, and they're going for about ten dollars a tank. Oh, wow. $10 a tank for some of these things. This is little guys. Uh, these are, I think these are the Lehman Russ tanks. And I'll show you what a big version of one of those looks like maybe later. Mm -hmm. but yeah, those, so that's an Imperial Guards tanks. Uh, so some of these tanks are so small. I, I've never seen some of these configurations before. Plus it takes place in an older time period. Yeah, so everything's uh, got to look a little older. So a lot of their stuff, they it lasts for centuries so mm -hmm. yep we got another tank sprue and then another tank sprue and these are different different sprues it'll look really cool to see from my perspective of just seeing a game like this open up with all the sprue and then see you actually put it together especially once you paint them yeah and they, they don't take a long time to paint uh, this is going to probably be my next project. I might work on, on it in conjunction with some other things. Uh, there's some stuff. Uh, here's some infantry. And these are the humans. <laughs> they got various different uh, infantry and stuff. They got a little command, uh, little command 
sprue elements too, like with flags and a little commissar and stuff. Uh, these little things on the end are walkers. So those are going to be like little walker things, kind of like uh, ATSTs and and stuff. Hmm. And so that's pretty neat. And there's two sprues of those. So you got some Imperial Guard sprues and you got some Space Marine sprues. I believe these are the same. And so they've got uh, they've got some assault units, some like jetpack guys. Uh, they've oh, got cool. dreadnoughts, like dudes in like big heavy armor, and they got their command sprue and oh, stuff too with the flags. So tiny. Very, very tiny, tiny little th things. Uh, these are... This fella right here. Yeah. He looks like a, some kind of a commander or something. Yeah, he's either probably a librarian or some kind of commander. <laughs> a <something>. librarian? <laughs> yeah, they have, they have these big super psychers <laughs> called librarians. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Get your good. books back on time! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna bring that book back on time? I got your dad right off. And then that's the same. So that's that's all of the, the human troops. And then we've got two, uh, looks like Warhound Titans. And you got the sprues for that. So you got the carapaces for these guys. Pro tip when you're painting these, paint these things separately. And, uh, yeah. So these guys consist of three sprues. This is kind of like the legs and some of the other inner workings and stuff. And then we've got the weapons options. Uh, with these, you can build. You should build them out and then magnetize it. You can use uh, have a couple of different weapons options and stuff to swap mm -hmm. out on their arms. And uh, they're pretty neat. So the idea with this is that you're uh, it's it's chaos versus versus. Not chaos. Order, <laughs> yeah, the, the, order, order yeah. versus chaos. Order versus chaos, essentially. <laughs> so uh, the idea with this box set is to is to paint one. E either the humans are going to be uh, traitor humans or the space marines or traitor space marines. And then you paint one group. Now, I'm not sure which group the, the titans go with or if you split one up into one. Mm. But what I've been told is that a typical game is around... Uh, 2,000 points or something. Maybe it's 1,000 points or 2,000 points. But all you get in this box is enough to make two 900-point armies. Oh, wow, well, yeah. The other option you have with a box <laughs> set like this is to take it all and paint them all up to be either traitors or the good guys. And then with your friend, now you've got like a, a larger force you can combine together to play with somebody else. So are you saying like these these units that they're using aren't faction specific from the model? Like the model doesn't well, require them to be faction specific? So I think, I, I'm not sure how, how the composition goes. And, and in fact, let's take a finish looking at this real quick. Because, uh, but I believe you can mix these if you choose to. Uh, So as we go down into the box, there's a little separator so that the sprues don't uh, get messed up by this book or this book messed up by the sprues scratching it up and stuff. So they always put these nice little separator pages. And here they've got uh, all the other little things you can buy if you want to uh, spend more money on this. <laughs> and uh, they're Good quite money, a lot, right? actually. Uh, uh, I actually have a set of um, these on the way. <laughs> which are Bane Blades, mm -hmm. uh, two of them in a box set for $40. So they're they're bigger. <laughs> but Wait, the, get, yeah, so two, it's probably like, it's like this big versus this big. <laughs> Wait, you got two two figures? Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a box oh. set with oh. two of them in oh, it. Okay. So it's like a detachment of Bane Blades. Okay. But there's a, you could take your Titans and use them. Um, you've got to have enough ground troops to like have a Titan to like, so... It's like you have these compulsory forces that you have to assemble. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I haven't done. Because that's inside of this book here, which is a nice hardcover book inside of this. Whew. In fact, this is the weight in this game. And it is not thin. Yeah, yeah it looks looks like a hefty... That's a substantial book. <laughs> As a tome. Like, do they freak out? Do they freak out if you show the inside of the book? No, no, no. Like, no. I, I wasn't sure if Ga Games Workshop is so anal about their stuff. But in here, there'll be lots of lore and art and examples for painting uh, all the different things. Here. Oh, it's kind of glary, isn't it? Move that box down. Let's, uh, let's tilt it like that. Okay. 
Yeah. So there's there's some other models that you can buy and stuff. I think those are the main blades. Maybe not. It's kind of hard to read upside down. But you got different examples of all the armies. Uh, there were specific armies. This is all the original, the original uh, crew in here. There's been other chapters that were added after, I think, uh, the Great Rebellion. But moving backwards through here, it looks like there's special rules for each of the different types of armies. Lots of charts. <laughs> Everybody loves the charts, right? And there'll be different stuff about the composition of the army, how to add your titans and stuff. I will, uh, I'm sure I'll spend many hours reading this. Or maybe I'll just watch a bunch of videos. That's what I tend to do. Is there uh, more in there? Yep. This is, uh, this is an interesting little thing. This is a package. I think this is the tokens. So a big criticism I've heard of this one is that they've got these tokens that are like paper. So hmm. why don't you take a look at that? I'm going to look over here and see if there's anything under all this. Uh, looks like we've got a transfer sheet. So you can add some details in here. We've got a bunch of bases. Uh, what's interesting with these bases too is they are detailed. They have a, they have little cracks and stuff in them. So you wouldn't have to necessarily decorate them, which is good. Because uh, scaling the decorations with these little things is kind of tough. You mm -hmm. put a little tiny tuft of grass on it or like something. A, yeah, like a mountain, like a tree. <laughs> Uh, we've also got some uh, very similar texture bases for the for the Titans. Yeah, these are very papery. We've got um, we've got a bunch of really plain plain Jane D sixes and a directional dice, which also heralds back to a lot of old Games Workshop games. So it looks like they got because this is this is set up for you to play a small game. Two people, you know, two people can play a small game. So you've got two uh, of these while you're doing everything. Are they like so player they aids? Player aids here. So, so you don't even need that big book, right? You all you need is this. Yeah. I guess maybe once you read it, <laughs> learn. Well, it. a lot of times with those books, like they're a little deceptive because the information they really need to convey isn't all that much, mm -hmm. and the rest of it is just either lore mm -hmm. or game variants. Like if you play this army, you get that another page or two about how that works. Well, these uh, the, these are super paper thin. These these uh, are all the tokens, and it literally is just a, a thin wow. It piece is piece of paper. It's a little <laughs> so, teeny. T is it just one sheet? Yeah, yeah, that's what I felt. Yeah, I might. Uh, so what I've seen some people do is they take coin. Uh, mm. Well, one guy gets these stickers that are uh, that are like um, like double uh, sided. Well, it, it's kind of like a. It's kind of like it's plastic on one side. And it's a sticker on the other, and it just makes them real thick, like a like oh, a big thicker yeah. token. Uh -huh. And the other thing you can do is put these in coin uh, coin vaults. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden they're huge chunky tokens. Yeah, I stuff. did I did that with uh, Quacks of Quedlinburg. I took all the little uh, cardboard chips and put them in little uh, coin holders, and that worked really well. But right. these orders, see, you're going to be touching these a lot. These orders mm -hmm. get, you place them down on your characters for, to say what they're going to do that turn. Mm -hmm. And then you pluck them off, you know, when they've done it or flip yeah. them over or something like that. So uh, I think this would be, this would be a lot better if it were. And in fact, it seems like the Adeptus Titanicus one with the All About Titans, it had even plastic like little markers and stuff for mm. things. So this is kind of a uh, disappointing yeah. little uh, cheap thing that they did. Uh, the other thing that's in here too is a hobby or a modeling guide. This is, oh, uh, they typically do this. Oh, were you trying to keep that there for the oh, glare? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. I wasn't sure if you were trying to keep it there for the glare. Uh, and this is just gonna be your instructions for how to put these together. Uh, they typically are not very difficult. Uh, it is a little tricky with these. There are s specific models that are supposed to go into specific uh, bases together and stuff. Yeah, it really condenses down the whole package of the game because once this is all put together, it's going to be like just a little group, right? Right, yeah. right. So, you know, this uh, this whole sprue worth of space is going to be, uh, you know, really not much. In fact, oh, I think... Make sure you don't lose that little fella. <laughs> oh, gosh. He was right in the bottom of the box. 
It's a little flavor man. Right. Teeny tiny guy. He's like half the size. He's like a quarter of the size of my pinky nail. I think this says these are actual size. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, these are all the actual size of the. It's all. Or, oh, all down here. Yeah, okay. all of these are like actual. I thought you were saying this was. This is even smaller here. Yeah. Yeah, that makes about as much sense out to the ones that you were showing me that you already had still. Because the one that you, you have some in the same scale of these already, right? Yeah, in fact, yeah. I've got two of these and, and the big, a couple of bigger ones and a, and, the, and a huge guy that I never put together and a bunch of knights and stuff. So I've got, mm -hmm. and I actually, this will go with the planes too. So I've got, I've got the, um, I've got the airplane game that I can't remember the name of. <laughs> and I've got it all uh, up and painted, and I got the knights and the titans all up and painted. So uh, once I get this going, and I've got an entire set of terrain that I built. Mm -hmm. I've never played any of this. Okay, <laughs> I built a whole table of terrain for this and never played it even once. Well, you know, Sean <laughs> likes miniatures and he likes to paint things. So, but I don't know why I feel compelled to make a whole table full of buildings. Like I've got a whole city. He's I've just, never done anything with he's, so he's ready for the electric grid to just fall apart and <laughs> nobody else can do anything and he's prepared. I've got my dice and my minis. Everybody else, you've prepared food, you've got like medical supplies, and all of you forgot the games, and Sean's got the game, so he's so you'll be full, but trade, you'll be bored. He'll trade it in for hot dogs. Uh so I'm gonna put all this together and maybe try to play a game and uh and use all the terrain I've got. Uh, this was kind of just a, in fact, I think I sent you a picture of this when I found it and I was just like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, I pretty much try uh, to avoid Games Workshop in general. They're, they, they're not, uh, they're not good bang for your buck as no, far as like, no. uh, their miniatures are way mm -hmm. more expensive than I feel comfortable buying 90% mm -hmm. uh, of the time. Sometimes I can't help myself. I'm going to let myself get excited about this one and, mm -hmm. and 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 dive in to a limited degree because it really adds on to what I already have. I feel like I've already got all the terrain. Yeah. I've already got all the big guys, the supplemental things to this. Uh, just a few more little mm -hmm. army, man, and I'll be complete. <laughs> it's what you like, and that's what's important. So if you're enjoying it, that's, that's what it's about. Uh, it's the plastic crack. Yeah, but it is neat though. But yeah, all the all those sprues will just condense down to these these groups of people. Yeah, there's still a fair amount of stuff here, you know. Yep. And it looks like you do those two titans. At least the way they have them painted here, are um, on the same team. Yeah, it so could go, yeah it could go either way. I'm not sure how they're meant to to split it up. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll have to dive into the book and or if you know below, how did you split up your box if you got this thing or planning on getting it. Uh, let me know down below how you split your box up. I'd be curious to know what your playlist looks like. Yeah, because you actually uh, you actually have to paint those uh, those those little icons on the sides if you're doing the teams that uh, they're on. Well, like, they've uh, got transfer sheets and stuff. Oh, so. so you put like little those are like oh, those are all stickers? that might be hand painted or it might be a tra from some other transfer sheet or mm -hmm. something like that. But uh, they uh, do have this if you're not very good at it. Oh wow! So these are, are these all stickers? They're uh, watershed transfers. Have you ever done that? No. So you? I'm I'm so completely unversed with the whole war hammer. Yeah, I mean except well, that, for the little tiniest bits of the lore. I used to do that. Well, I used to do these things like with the old model cars and stuff. You cut yeah. them out and you put them in water, mm -hmm. and then they get they get kind of loose on there, and then you slide them off. Uh, maybe I have. When I, it, yeah, it feels like I've done something like that as a kid with some kind. They're of kind of like temporary I tattoos. Like, <laughs> I used to, well, I used to like to paint models when I was a kid. I wasn't ever good at it, but I would get like you know some little model set, and I had enamel paints, and I like to just. It was all the only there wasn't any game to it it was just about painting it and <laughs> i don't i, I kind of like, rarely I like maybe maybe i did that because that does seem similar I, I kind of remember that little plastic you thing. cut them out you put them in some water mm -hmm. and then you kind of slide them over then there's all these little tricks to kind of make them blend in so they're not so obvious and stuff cool i don't typically use those maybe a little bit but uh we'll see we'll see what i pull together very cool well, folks thank you for joining in, me in my uh in my unboxing of this uh, because I have a YouTube channel, I have to open it this way before I paint it. But yeah. it's next time I'm gonna 
Uh, tune in again if you'd like to see these painted. If you're just curious about how I paint these up, uh, tune in again because I'm going to read the rules enough to figure out how to put armies together that don't suck. Yeah. And I'm going <laughs> to and I'm going to put two groups of two groups of people together. Let you read those rules. <laughs> yeah i painted up all my titans and stuff to be real ambiguous so they could be like all together or maybe they're separate teams you know yeah, who <laughs> so, knows? Yeah, so uh yeah. we'll see maybe i'll put together uh i'll put together some stuff and then i'll trick owen into playing with me i, I will definitely play it with you i don't want to learn it i would like you to teach me <laughs> <laughs> no problem i'll i'm great with the rules don't yeah, worry about yeah, it exactly. <laughs> don't even worry about it nobody else is watching it'll just be your game yeah <laughs> All right, that's all I got for you today. Until next time, enjoy your games, and then we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.